Hello viewers, uh, my name is Reverend Ruth Kiki and I'm very happy to have you uh, watch together with me today uh, someone that I want us to talk about the Holy Spirit has been put in my heart that we talk about the 12 gates that are mentioned in the book of uh, Revelation um, just the significance of the book of Revelation right now and um, what these gates represent in our lives uh, right this minute um, the Bible says in the book of Revelation um, chapter number 21 from verses 10 to 12 it says and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God having the glory of God her light was like the most precious stone like a jasper stone clear as crystal also he had a great and high wall with 12 gates 12 gates and the 12 angels at the gates and names written on them which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel father in the name of jesus i invite you to this study today that you may bring understanding that you may bring illumination of your word and as the word enters in our eyes may be opened up to understand the significance of these gates in our spiritual walk in this time and moment we thank you jehovah god we bless you in jesus mighty name amen amen so there are 12 gates that are mentioned in the book of uh, uh, revelation chapter number 12 and again as the bible had, has already spoken about these gates are mentioned in the old testament and they are the representations of the 12 tribes of israel and uh in when 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 we have these gates gates is a place that we need to possess gates we need to possess these gates in our lives so that we can experience the victories of god in our situations and in our lives and so we have the 12 gates and i will mention them very quickly we have the at the gates of judah which is the gate that represents praise and thanksgiving we have the gate of reuben which represents excellence the gate of god which represents good fortune the gate of asher which represents happiness the gate of naphtali that represents victory we have the gate of Manasseh that represents a restoration. We have the gate of Simeon that represents hope and fulfillment. We have the gate of Levi which represents unity. The gate of Issachar which represents reward. The gate of Zebulun which represents endowment, donation and gift. We have the gate of Joseph which represents prosperity and the gate of Benjamin which represents authority. We need to understand these gates so that we can walk in victory in our marriage, in our job, in our health, in our finances, in our ministries, and that we can walk in peace and joy, and that we can walk fulfilled lives uh, as we journey on to eternity. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us to break down the, the 12 gates and what they really represent so that you can start embarking on journeying to possess these gates in your personal life so the gate of Judah uh, talks about praise and thanksgiving it is my prayer that the Lord will restore praise and thanksgiving in our lives uh, and he also says that um, that Judah had the scepter he had the key in his hands and in his hand and that meant that he had authority in the name of the Lord he had authority in his mouth when the praises go up his glory comes down and uh, when the praises when we have praises in our hearts uh, we can change every situation to turn around to favor us in the name of Jesus in the midst of trials and tribulations when you have praise and thanksgiving there is a dimension that, that the situation
situation changes too. It is shifted. There is a shifting of that dimension. And how I pray that you may understand how to walk in praise and thanksgiving. I pray that you that, that the gate of praise and thanksgiving will be restored into your life. And then we have the second gate, which is the gate of Reuben. This is re, denotes the, the spirit of excellence. Uh, I pray that the Lord will help us to have these gates restored. You know, Reuben when, was a son uh, of Jacob and he lost his sonship. But I pray in this time and hour that we may have the restoration of sonship in the kingdom of God. That we may take our position as the children of God and the sons and the daughters of the kingdom of God. I pray that honor to parents and those in authority, honor to self and 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 uh, honor to even others will be um um we will be seen in our lives as a character of God in our lives, praise the name of Jesus. We need to walk in excellence. We need to walk in the in the positions of sons. We are like the prodigal. We've got to remember who we are in the kingdom of God. Then we have the uh, the, the gate of God. Uh, this is the gate, uh, the gate of good fortune. Uh, this is where we experience favor. This is where we experience anointing. This is where we experience wisdom. This is where we experience wealth and power. I don't know about you, but we need good fortune in our lives. I don't know about you, but you need to experience the goodness of God in your life. And you need to start manning these gates. You need to start knocking and possessing these gates as as, as, as these favorable things starts coming and following you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. The gate of God is the gate that holds the good fortune that you need as a a believer that you need as a woman of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How I pray that you may walk in favor. How I pray that God would dress off favor in your life, anointing, wisdom, wealth, and power in your life. You need to walk in power. Ministers of the gospel ought to walk in the manifestation of the power of God in their ministries and in their callings in the name of Jesus. Don't walk a defeated life. You need to walk in power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Then we have the gate of Asha. The gate of Asha is the gate of happiness. I don't know about you, but joy is a heal, brings healing to the bones. Uh, remove. This is the gate where when happiness is restored into your life, uh, the, the, the curses are removed. Frustrations in your life are taken away. And the restoration of joy and happiness in your life and in your marriage, in your career, in your relationships. Praise the name of the Lord. Help in your finances and in your ministry when you have the happiness fulfillment contentment in you that is the spirit that is a, the Holy Spirit will enable you as you walk through these gates to experience happiness in your life I don't know about you but right now in America we've been experiencing a lot of young people young people just committing suicide maybe happiness is not there anymore contentment has been lifted but I pray for the restoration of happiness in the mighty name of Jesus. And now I pray as parents that we start praying for our children for contentment and happiness in their lives in the name of Jesus. Then we have the gate, the fifth gate, which is the gate of Naphtali. And I pray the gift, the gate of Naphtali is the gate of victory, the gate of victory. And this, when, when we walk in prosperity, it, it paralyzes a certain words again it's God's people. There are so many diabolic attacks that have been assigned by the enemy to come and fight and counteract the people of God, to put them in a place of defeat, to make them walk into the, uh, in areas where they have been defeated by the enemy. But God has designed you to walk through the gates of victory. I prophesy victory over your life right now. I don't know what is that situation that I've been sitting on you. I don't know what is that situation that 
that has been oppressing you. But I want to prophesy to you right now. I want to speak to that situation that you can walk in the victory because Jesus won it all. Jesus paid it all. Praise the name of Jesus. So Naphtali is the gate of restoration, is the gate of victory in the name of Jesus. And how I pray, victory will be restored in your life even as you desire to walk through the gates of victory in the name of Jesus. The sixth gate is the gate of Manasseh. The gate of Manasseh represents restoration. All around restoration. God desires to restore peace. Restore of the stolen goods that the enemy has stolen from you. Praise the name of Jesus. It says restoration of your health. Praise the name of Jesus. Restoration of relationships with, with, with God and also with fellow men. We need restoration all around us. The walls are broken. We need restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. The church is broken. It needs to be restored back to its rightful position in the name of Jesus. The gate of Manasseh is the gate of restoration. We need to man this gate. We need to walk through the gates of restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I've been praying for the restoration. Restoration of believers. Restoration of marriages. Restoration of relationships. In the mighty name of the Lord. We need to experience that in marriages. And, and especially in marriages, we have been having very difficult situations in marriages. Marriages have been broken. They have been shattered. But that is not the design of God. It is not the design of God that people get married and only to hurt each other. It is not the design of God of families to be built up and to be financially wealthy. And then you know what? There's brokenness in between. No, no, no. That's not the design of God. The design of God is that we need to be full. We need to walk in fulfillment. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, how I speak restoration in the area that you've been struggling in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Then number seven, we have the gate of Simeon. The gate of Simeon represents hope and fulfillment. You know, when people are hopeless, when there's a hopelessness in situations, people commit suicide. When there's a hopelessness, it brings sickness to the bones. When they are, they are, the hope deferred makes the heart sit in the book, sick in the book of Proverbs. Hope deferred makes the heart sick in the book of Proverbs. So what am I telling you? We don't need to suffer any more rejection. We don't need to suffer a, a, any more generational curses. We don't need uh, 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 to suffer lovelessness in our lives. We need to to restoration of love in our in in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration of broken foundations. Uh, we need uh, uh, satisfaction and fulfillment in life, uh, and that is what God created when He created man man in the Garden of Eden and he desired for them to have a, a hope and fulfillment all the days of their lives. But sin came in. But I want to tell you as a child of God, Jesus paid it all at the cross of Calvary so that you can walk in hope and that you can walk in fulfillment. It doesn't matter whether the tree has been cut. There is hope. It shall sprout again. It doesn't matter what you're facing right now and what you have lost. You shall live again. You shall prosper again. You shall sprout again again in the mighty name of Jesus. Number eight, we have the gate of Levi. This is the gate of unity. I don't know what has been happening in our midst, but there seems to be a lot of disunity amongst the believers. It seems like uh, 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 marriages have been broken. The churches are, are, are splitting. There's disunity all around us, even in communities. The community seems like it cannot come together, but God has called us to walk unity united. Where people are united, God commands a blessing. Where, where um, a family is united, hallelujah, there is a blessing that comes with it. How I pray, even in my personal family, that we would walk in unity. That we may be united as we fight the same common enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Unity, lack of unity, lack of unity is what is bringing all these 
dissemination in our communities and that is not how God created it uh, created us as prayerful men and women of God we need to pray for we need to pray for uh, we need to pray for unity in, in 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 our communities in the mighty name of Jesus unity does not mean uniformity unity means that we have the same mind concerning what we're doing and we, we, we want to accomplish a certain goal all of us we want to be happy we want to build up one another praise the name of the Lord let us walk in unity as a children of God go through these gates of Levi and start dem commanding that unity come forth in the mighty name of Jesus in the gate number nine is the gate of Issachar this represents the gate of reward you need you you need to deal with fruitlessness in your life no reward at your workplaces in ministry lack of profit in your business praise the name of the Lord but I want to thank the Lord because he has promised you exceedingly reward and prosperity he is a God who prospers praise the name of Jesus he is a God hallelujah glory to God that he has desires for you to prosper in everything that you do he says he will bless the work of your hands that he may prosper in the name of Jesus how I pray that whatsoever you do you will not be forgotten but you will be remembered for what you have done for the signs and the seeds that you have sown I pray that you will bear much fruit in the name of Jesus for your labor may you bear fruit in the name of the Lord God whether it is business whether you sow seeds in the ministry and the kingdom of God whether you're planting and 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 sharing the word of God with people how I pray that you may reap a harvest in the mighty name of Jesus not just a harvest but a bountiful harvest in the name of Jesus 60 30 fold 60 fold uh, uh, 90 fold and even a hundred fold uh, in the mighty name of Jesus you need to be rewarded I don't know about you but many a times maybe you're there you have done so many good things to people but it seems like God has forgotten you no 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 he has not forgotten you I command the rewards to first start for coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah then we have gate number 10 which is the gate of Zebulun the gate of Zebulun is the gate of endowment and donation and gift praise the name of the Lord. Uh, you know, we need to fight every diabolic attack um, that diverts the blessings of the people of God. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. We need to pray against every diabolic attack uh, that comes to divert the blessings of the people. I don't know about you. Just when you're just about to prosper, then something comes up and the blessing is diverted. Just before you get you get pro promoted, something happens and you don't get the promotion. These are demons that are fighting you your progress, your endowment, praise the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hinders things from coming your way. Uh, uh, prophets have been spoken towards your life uh, that are not yet fulfilled. I, I need to pray that God, once you start opening these gates, that these prophecies will start coming to pass because God is not a liar, praise the name of the Lord. I don't know, but God wants you to walk in prominence. God wants to you to walk in great but sometimes it seems like this prominence and greatness is not coming. I want to prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that God is going to elevate you. God is going to push you up in the name of Jesus. God is limitless and so are you limitless in the name of Jesus. You shall excel in every area of your life. Praise the name of the Lord. You shall excel in what you do in the name of Jesus. The gate of Zebulun is the gate of endowment and the gate of donation. Those of you who are in mission fields, the, the gate of donations to be opened up to you so that you can be able to co accomplish missions in the name of Jesus globally, preaching the gospel, praise the name of Jesus. The, 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 the gate of gifts, praise the name of the Lord. You'll be rewarded with gifts, praise the name of Jesus. I pray that this gate will be opened especially to the ministers of the gospel so that they can do the work of the 
ministry in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Gate number 12 is the gate of Joseph. The gate of Joseph is the gate of prosperity. The great, the gate of prosperity, uh, 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 when we walk through the gate of prosperity, then we will not know poverty. But do you know how many people we have right now? We have people who are, who have a poverty background and they have been going through the cycles of poverty. I prophesy to you right now to start walking out of the gates of poverty. There is poverty mindset. Every time you're thinking that you cannot prosper, every time you're thinking that you can, you were born to be, to be living in low class. No, 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 no. You were thinking that only a certain group were born to be elevated. No, 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 no. You're a child of God. God wants you to walk, walk in prosperity. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know what? When you want to man this gate of prosperity, you need to remove laziness and slumber and procrastination out of your life. If you need to pray today, start praying today. If you need to fast today, start fasting today. If you need to call upon the name of Jesus today, start calling on the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm praying to your life that you may increase in revenues and supernatural provision be released upon your life in the name of Jesus. Sometimes you look at your pocket and the dream that you have, and at that point you realize you cannot make it, but God can make it happen for you supernaturally. There is supernatural provision readily available for you when you get you when you start entering through the gate of prosperity, the gate of Joseph. Praise the name of the Lord. And I pray for you right now that your destiny carriers locate you in Jesus' name. Your destiny helpers will locate you in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord God. I pray that you be able to walk like Joseph. That you will be thrown somewhere in a place where you feel like you cannot um, prosper, but God will cast multiplication and addition to be what you experience in the name of Jesus. You might be thrown in Cal Calhari Desert, but God will cause you to prosper there in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you may be able to walk through this gate of Joseph in the mighty name of Jesus. The last gate, which is the twelfth gate, is the gate of Benjamin. This is the gate of authority. Every believer at ought to walk with authority. It is my prayer that you walk in the authority of God. When you walk in authority, you're walking in rulership. You're walking in dominion. You're trampling over the enemy in the name of Jesus. The enemy is under your foot. The enemy is under your feet in the name of Jesus. You trample over failure in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God has anointed you with a warrior spirit, a mighty warrior spirit that you can fight every Every enemy in the name of Jesus that you can fight Satan, Lucifer, and, and, and his demons in the mighty name of Jesus. That you walk in power, that you walk in knowing who you are, because you know your greatness is not in you. The greatness is, is who who is behind you. His name is Jehovah Sabawatha. His name is Elohim. He's the all-powerful God. He will fight for you. He will see you through. Praise the name of Jesus. He will command angels to come and aid you in warring in the name of Jesus to wage war with the enemies of your life in the name of Jesus. God has created you and ordained you to walk in power and in authority as a child of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know about you but I would want you to keep on studying about the gates in the name of Jesus. It is my desire that you would walk in the name of the Lord asking God to open these gates for you in the name of the Lord God. As I come to an end, I want us to say a prayer because I want God to open these gates for us in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of the Lord God, I, call, I, I, I humbly ask you, dear Lord, that you may help the sons and your daughters, your sons and daughters to walk through these gates and to possess these gates in the name of Jesus. Father, I release right now in the name of the Lord 
God, the gate of Judah to them. They will possess the gates of praise and thanksgiving. My Jehovah God, I pray that they will walk through the gate of Reuben. In the name of Jesus, they will walk in the spirit of excellence. In the name of the Lord, I pray that Jehovah Father, they will walk through the gates of God, which is the gate of good fortune. They will know a good God that is able to bless them exceedingly much more they can ever think of. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that Jehovah God, they may possess the gate of Asher. They will be happy in the name of the Lord. My Father, my God, bring happiness in relationships. Bring happiness in the church family. Bring happiness in marriages. Bring happiness between children and parents. Bring happiness, Jehovah God, between extended families, within the community. In the mighty name of Jesus, I open up the gate of Naphtali. In the name of Jesus, that we may walk in victory. Father, help us to know victory you are around us. In our finances, in our marriages, in our children, in our academics, God. Help us to walk in this victory. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Jehovah God, because we are opening right now the gate of Manasseh. There will be restoration all around us, Jehovah God. Restore us to our former place, God, to our former position in relationship with you. Restore our friendship with you. Restore our walk with you, oh God. Restore relationships, Jehovah God. Restore marriages in the name of Jesus. Marriages that Satan has really trampled on in the name of Jesus. I open up the gate of Simeon right now by faith in the name of Jesus and we possess hope and fulfillment in our lives in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I open the gates of Levi that we are going to walk in unity. We shall know unity because where there is unity, Jehovah God, you command a blessing in the name of Jesus. I possess the gate of Issachar by faith in the name of Jesus. We shall be rewarded for everything we do in the kingdom of God in the name of the Lord. For everything we do for the poor and the needy in the homeless Jehovah God and the ones that are the widows and the widowers and the orphans. My God, when we do it, we shall be rewarded bountifully in the name of Jesus. We possess the gate of Zebulun in the name of Jesus. Endowment and donation and gift will know us in the name of Jesus. We possess the gate of Joseph. We shall walk in prosperity, Jehovah God. It doesn't matter where, where we are. We don't, it doesn't matter where we are positioned. But God, we are going to walk in the prosperity of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Jehovah God, because by faith right now, we are processing the gates of Benjamin, which are the gates of authority in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are walking over the enemies, the enemies of our lives, the enemies of our successes, the enemies of our spiritual walk. My God, we are walking in authority. We are walking in power in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I commit marriages. I commit our jobless situations. I commit our health. I commit our financial struggles. I commit my ministries and the ministries and the church and the body of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, let there be restoration all around in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, grant us peace, grant us joy, grant us hope in the name of Jesus. My Father, hopelessness has trickled through the lives especially of the young people. And we have experienced a lot of suicides in the last few weeks in the mighty name of God. But I'm praying for an end to this spirit. I am commanding Jehovah God, happiness and fulfillment is going to be the portion of our young generations, the teenagers and the young adults. My God, in the name of Jesus, they shall be joyful. They shall be merciful in the name of Jesus. They shall be jubilant in the name of Jesus. The enemy has no power and authority of our young children. In the name of the Lord God, help us as the adults to man these gates and to walk victoriously like Jesus won 
every battle victoriously in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for designing us to be victors all around in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, and I worship you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. It is my prayer that you will uh, possess the gates, the 12 gates, and walk in victory as you were designed by God. God bless you. This is Reverend Ruth Gigi of Kingdom Mysteries International. I will see you some other time. For now, shalom, shalom.